Hi there guys, I'm Danny, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go To Space. Today I'm bringing you a video on the Japanese Tanuki, this mischievous, shape-shifting trickster being that resembles a raccoon with big bellies that they can use as a drum. They have eight special features that are said to bring good fortune. A friendly smile, their bellies symbolizing their bold and calm decisiveness, a hat or a leaf that protects against bad weather and troubles, big eyes for being able to see and make good decisions, a strong and steadfast tail that brings success, a promissory note showing trust and confidence, a virtuous sake bottle, and one of their most well-known traits, a very prominent scrotum, symbolizing wealth and financial luck. They're depicted through art, mania, statues, and literature as being mischievous but happy, but quite often lazy, absent-minded, guided by food and gullible. Their main habitat is the forest and the mountains, but they have been known to come down into the towns and cities, and they're also linked to the kitsunes. But unlike fox spirits, they don't wish to harm humans, just trick them into making a fool of themselves and being embarrassed, or conning them out of a few coins or wares, and sometimes passing off leaves as currency, only for it to turn back after they have disappeared. They used to have a bigger role governing nature, but as deities such as Buddha came into belief, they got relocated to lesser deities. One thing about their appearance is that the big belly and scrotum imagery actually comes from the early 20th century. It's meant to hark back to when goldsmiths would use tanuki pelts to hold the gold as they hammered it out. One of the oldest pieces of literature documenting the tanuki is the Nihon Shoki from 710 to 794 AD. There was also the Baka Danuki in classic literature. They're also found in the Nihon Ryoiki and the Ujishui Monogatari. In Tales, there were three very famous tanukis, the Yoshima no Hagi Tanuki from Yoshima in the Kogawa Prefecture, the Danzamburo Danuki in Nagata Prefecture, and the Stubema Tanuki on the Awaji Island Hyogo Prefecture. Now onto the other tanukis that can be found throughout Japan. These next group have specific names, so I'll start with them. There's the Usagi Tanuki, or the Rabbit Tanuki, that resided on a hill in the Tokushima Prefecture, as you can guess from its name, it would take the form of a rabbit, and when people tried to chase him, hoping to catch a meal, they would end up running around the hill multiple times instead. The Shike Cotton Tanuki would become a piece of cotton, and when people reached for it, it would float away into the sky. There was the Kasasashi Tanuki, or Umbrella Carrying Tanuki, who would appear in a Kaeda Miyoshi district, and take the form of a person who would offer people shelter under his umbrella. If they took up his offer, they would then be transported away to an inconveniently distant place, but not somewhere that they couldn't get back from. The Bozu Tanuki is the shaven head Tanuki, from Handa Tokushima Prefecture, who is a little scarier than the others. When people would walk over the Bozu Bridge, they would reach the other side with their head mysteriously shaven. There is also the Shirodakuri or white wine bottle Tanuki, who would become a wine bottle, wait for people to grab him and then roll away. The Forasagi, or dangling bag, was a tanuki in the Omachi town, now Omachi city, and it would catch the attention of people passing by by dangling white bags from a tree. And last but not least is the young priest tanuki. This one is from Gakushima in the Oe district, and it would make a nuisance of itself by becoming a priest and blocking the path of people. If they got angry enough to cut the creature, it would then multiply and become even more of a nuisance. In the Hone village of the Itano district, a tanuki would transform into a child at night, and ask to be carried. If a person gave in, they would then be beaten on the shoulders repeatedly. The Tamona district, Kumakoto prefecture, has a tanuki that would transform into an old woman with a tiered bento box called a jabako. They would approach people and say, do you need a treat or not? If a person accepted, they would find that the box contained only a rock. In Tokyo, back in 1603 and 1868, also known as the Edo period, the sound of a drum could be mysteriously heard in the middle of the night, and it was said to be the Tanuki's drum. In the Osaka prefecture, the Minami Kawachi district, there was a hill that when passed would appear to say, you will chase me, you will chase me, and if you replied, should I chase, should I chase, you would find yourself having already gone up the hill, and you would see a tree stump at the top. If you then made to go back home and get an axe to remove the stump, it would apologize and show itself. Another would take the form of a teapot, and it belonged to the monk Shukaku. This teapot would never run out of tea. And the last, and also my favorite legend, is about the tanuki from Gugyoji in the Ibaraki prefecture. It took the form of a monk at a temple. It worked hard and had become well-known and liked. 
One day the Tanaki took a nap and reverted back to its true form. He was then discovered, but instead of being cast out, it was given the position of page because they had worked so hard and for so long. And no surprise since this is such a well-loved being, it is featured in a fair bit of popular culture. Pompoko from Studio Ghibli is all about the Tanaki's plight. Tom Nook in Animal Crossing is one. Other games with the Tanaki featuring in it are Empires and Puzzles, Sonic Racing, Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun, Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, and the most famous one I think people will know is that Mario himself has a Tanaki suit. Tony Chopper from One Piece is also meant to be one of these beings. There's one in Inuyasha and Naruto. And if you have ever watched Utopia, one of the newsreaders happens to be a Tanuki. Also, if you do travel to Japan, almost anywhere that you look around, especially in front of shop fronts, you will see a Tanuki statue because much like the Maneki Neko, they're meant to encourage people to come inside the store and to spend their money. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, in the comment section, and on Twitter. Bye!